Good morning. I got a question this morning. It's <laughs> it's just something that I was thinking about as I was driving. I just want to know where tears come from. Like, I don't know if we have like a, <laughs> a, a supply behind our eyes or something. I was thinking about it. I don't understand it. Like what makes you cry? I know there's probably a scientific meaning for it, but how can something that hits you here turn around and make water come out of your eyes? You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's funny. I know God made us to be able to cry for a reason. Those tears mean something to him. I'm an emotional dude, like, and I wish I wasn't, I've been, <laughs> I remember my mom telling me when I was younger, like, why are you so sensitive, you know? Man, she's gonna have to take that up with God because <laughs> he made me like that, you know what I mean? I, I cry and I'm a cry baby. I like to cry sometimes, like I, there's sometimes I can't wait because it feels like it cleans like something out. In the Bible it says that he's saved every one of our tears in his bottle. And I know that there's like a metaphor for everything. I know that they, they're saying that he remembers your pain, your sorrow. I don't wanna believe that though. I wanna believe that every tear I've ever shed, he holds in a bottle. How much does he love us to turn around and save every tear that's dropped from our eyes? And what it means is that the reason behind every tear means something to him. He loves you, man. It breaks his heart to see you cry. It's funny because I overheard some people from a from a ministry one time saying that I cry too much. Man, that guy just cries too much. He, you know, why he needs to develop a thicker skin. God, you're gonna be, have to be the one to help me develop a thicker skin. And I don't think it's bad to cry. I don't. I think that if you feel it in your heart, how can you stop it? You know what I mean? I, it's funny because you know those videos of like sold the the soldier that he ends up coming home and he's hiding, you know, because he wants to surprise his family because he's been gone for so long. It, I had never. I, it was a couple years back. <laughs> I had never seen that stuff, and we were all downstairs at uh, where we were living at the time, watching a movie my wife is there next to me and I'm on my phone and I'm watching this video and this soldier walks through the door he's gonna reunite with his I want to say it was his mom he's sitting there waiting and the moment she turned around and she sees him I was like look I started looking around and in my head I was like oh my god Eric you're gonna cry right now and we're watching the <laughs> we're watching the comedy dude like what the heck I felt embarrassed man I was just like I can't cry right now, you know, and I fit like you're trying, how do you, you can't suck the tears back up, you're trying to like open your, you're opening your eyes and you feel that, you know, that tear just <laughs> bubbling over where it, it's just like about to drip <laughs> and how did that video do that to me, man? I got emotional and I go, Melody, I'll be right back. She's okay. And I went up the stairs, I went into the room and I shut the door and I pulled out my phone, I watched the rest of that video and tears just started coming down my eyes, man. I was like, man, I had to, I wanted to come up here and cry. All of a sudden the door opens and she goes, what are you doing? And I was like, nothing, get out of here, why don't you knock? Get out, of, get, what are you doing? And she's like, are you crying? I was like, leave me alone, dude. And I didn't want to, I felt so embarrassed, so stupid that I was crying. If I, I don't know, man, but we cry, you know what I mean? And it's a language. There's things that I wanted to tell him and I don't know how to tell him. There's things that are in my heart that I feel that I don't know how to express sometimes to him. I speak through my tears and, and if I don't care who turns around and thinks I'm too sensitive or I'm too anything like God understands your tears. He understands and he's even cried before. It's the shortest verse in, in the Bible. It says Jesus wept. But if it's there for a reason and he wept, he cried because he feels hurt too. He feels like how many times do we hurt him that he cries? How many times do we do stuff not realizing and we're just like, oh, you know, he, he forgives me. He forgives me. Like I'm I'm and we turn around and we go mess up again and we go do this and we, how many times do we just break his heart? He cries too and do we, like half the time, I don't think we even think about it. We don't think about what we do to the Lord and his emotions, you know? But 
it don't stop him from loving us enough to save every tear that we've gone through. He's the awesome part about it is is that he's the com he's our comforter. He understands and and he says that weeping may tarry for the moment, but don't worry because joy comes in the morning. He's comforting us to let us know that you're not going to go through what you're going through forever. Like how many times have you ever seen somebody cry? You would do anything to fix it. And sometimes you can't, and it breaks your heart when you see somebody that you love crying and you can't do nothing about it. Man, God don't feel that. God doesn't turn around and say, man, I can't do nothing about it. And they're, they're, he can, He's the only one that can do anything about everything. You need to know that he loves you. He loves you with all his heart. If you're a, if you're a Christian and you know all this stuff, then you can, you can go on to the next, pass this up. This isn't for you. If you haven't met Jesus Christ and you have pain and hurt and maybe you lost a loved one or maybe you're stuck in some type of vice, you know what I mean? Something that has a hold of you. Maybe uh, you're stuck in addiction. Maybe your heart's just broken and who knows? There's a million reasons that our heart can break. He's the only one that can mend your heart. He can give you a new heart. He, can, he fixes everything. I want to tell you today that he loves you so much. And he cares about everything you care about. And he knows that everything that hurts you, he'll comfort you. You need to find him. Whatever you're going through, look up and talk to him. Cry out to him. Don't You don't even got to say nothing to him. Just cry. He's going to understand. He already knows what you're going through. He understands. And those tears mean so much to him. I've cried to the Lord and I've cried. And there's sometimes... I'm not even sad, I just cry, you know what I mean? When the tears are coming, I don't stop them no more. I'm not gonna stop them. There's a big supply of tears back here behind my eyes. Unless the tears come from my heart and they travel up down, up my neck and, and pour out my eyes, I don't know. That's why I want somebody to tell me, where, did, where do tears come from? What's the scientific or what's the actual reason for them? I know it's not gonna mean what it actually means because God made us to be able to cry. I don't understand it, but if if you're ever hurt and you feel the need to cry out to him, just look up and cry out to him. That was just on my heart to talk about this morning. God understands your, your sorrows, your pain, your everything that you're going through, and he's your comforter. He loves you. God bless everybody.